Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I wanted to show you an easy way to recover a headboard. And all it is, is just really a slip cover. And what makes it so easy and so versatile is the fact that I used a drop cloth as my fabric. And even with that, I didn't want the traditional coloring of the drop cloth, so I bleached it and made it white, which works perfectly in our bedroom. And it did take a few steps. It did, you know, I think I did it in a couple of half days, you know, not working hard, just a few hours here and there. But it prolonged the life of our headboard, which had seen better days. And I'm not real sure what I want to put in our bedroom, but allowing me to slip cover the headboard kept it from looking hideous, but also kept me from having to buy something new right now. So we had a headboard that was a white chalky leather and just in the few years that we've had it, I think maybe four years, it had darkened to kind of just like almost a, a dirty color, if that makes sense, a dirty white. But mixing in with that, uh, just I guess our heads resting against the leather had created a fat, an effect that looked like Mickey Mouse had slept there. I mean, literally, that's what I wanted to write above the little spot. It's a tuffeted leather headboard, and that's what it ended up looking like. So by creating the drop cloth slip cover for the headboard, it's something that can come off, be washed, and put back on. And of course, if you wanna doll it up, you can do all sorts of things. You can use a designer fabric. You can use a trim on the headboard would look lovely. And I really had thought about that, but I just didn't wanna put in the extra effort to do it. And then obviously you could dye your bleach drop cloth or paint on your bleach drop cloth. Just the sky's the limit. You could add buttons or designs or whatever you wanna do, which would be cute and unique and just make it your own to go with your own bedroom's decorations. So anyway, let me show you what I did and hopefully it will provide some inspiration for you to make a slip cover for a headboard or two somewhere in your house. If you're new here at At Home with Kayla Price, I ask that you go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up so I'll know to make more like this. So let's get started. <laughs>
Next week with another new video. We'll see you then. Bye.